scamming him under a false fucking reality that you two were gonna get married. He outed you for taking advantage of his contributions and his gifting all the way up until a week prior to stabbing him in the back and doxing the fuck out of his mom's information. You're one foul, nasty bitch. Like, that's the thing, like, I don't take Vic, I don't take Vic that serious. It's, but I, it's like the same with Tommy, like, Tommy is Vic's, um, wacky. Like, Tommy, Tommy has the, the views, like, the subs, but not the views, and... Huge! Huge! Look at that schnauzer! Look at that fuck! Dog, your nose is bigger than your dick! Team up with me! Yeah! Yeah, she thinks that she's got that ability. But, you know, again, the audacity! The audacity of some people! I, I said this yesterday, Bert, and you mentioned it today because you, I was not the only one with the attack is up because I wasn't. <laughs> um, but, Bert, there were many people with the I told, that could give her the I told you out so. Out here on these YouTube I streets. And you happen to be two of them. We warned this bitch. We warned her. We warned her about so many things, including Yoda. Um, you know, the, the thing that upsets me the most about it, dude, is the, the effects that it's had on her child. Because she has exposed her child to so much, dude. I mean, we've seen her ranting and raving, fucking making crazy fucking claims of, like, sexual misconduct that were untrue about her child, with her child in the room. And, like, just, I mean, just some of the foulest shit that I've ever seen come from a fucking parent. Um, okay, so have I seen Rue do anything foul enough to have her kid taken away from her or something like that? child services no that's that's bullshit if that's what these people are doing and these people are fucking with people's lives like that no that's that's totally not good that's fucked up and do i think people like bird deserve to go to prison absolutely like this is not something that's too hard to understand like this this is a piece of shit psychopath who traveled all the way from colorado to massachusetts just to try to get me in trouble like this is not somebody who i could ever see as my friend so if anybody ever thought that or thought that i could be working with this dumb motherfucker it is just stupid just just pretty dumb and especially since i've been calling out ac for how long about his affiliation with news now houston and all of a sudden you know it would like i'm i'm his buddy am i his friend fuck out of here like, just look at the people in his fucking chat. Look at these fucking people. Okay, I don't get along with any of those people. Not fucking one. This is just the dumbest shit ever. Because I can tell there's a whole lot of people who either they're that stupid where they let themselves get played and they let their guard down, or to everyone, you know... I'd like that's actually the only option i can't even think of why the fuck else this is literally the only option is because you guys are too stupid to realize that these people have been playing games with your fucking lives i'm so sick and fucking tired of this shit you guys are so stupid i swear to god on youtube exposing their children to some of the craziest shit on youtube and and the thing was is that we told her do not expose your child to this wear headphones do not let your mm. kid hear you interacting with these people because the shit will get intense. Oh my god. And you guys think that I'm the one to question, not the people who give money to you who also give money to these people. Those people aren't the ones to question. And of course not. Like like I said, these people know how to how to fool people into thinking they're part of the normal uh, population, like, you know, it's just, it's just the, the way that they kind of, like, make people a little passive and comfortable, you know, they, they'll, they'll pull some shit, like, maybe give you some donos, throw you some subs, throw you some views, you know, give you a high five, give you a pat on the back, but, but really what they're doing is they're, they're, like, getting prepped to, like, milk you, you know, they're, they're getting prepared to fuck with your life. And they're getting ready to make a big sitcom out of it for their own personal pleasure. Like, I kid you not, this is exactly what the fuck they do. And I've, I've been trying to call this shit out for so long. Is Rada one of them? Yes. 
you know? Like, I don't give a fuck how many times he tries to play like he's calling out AC or Game Over or Tonic or whoever the fuck. Like, there's a lot of players in this, you know, because of their certain pleasures within all this. Like, they, they kind of have the same interests as other people. They might not have the same personalities, same traits, but the, they always have the same weird interests in obsessing over people who or people's lives in which are none of, none of their business. It's, this isn't a coincidence. Like, you guys have to notice at least a little as to what's really going on here at Hope. You know, mm. make sure to safeguard your child's information along with your own to prevent any of this shit from coming to your home front. And what has she done? The exact opposite on every front. Hmm. Kind of makes me wonder, like, when she was talking to, talking to Yoda and she was telling him to put some more bass in his fucking voice because he's a little <laughs> bitch. Uh, I, I, it kind of makes me wonder, like, did, 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 at any point, like, did she, like, like, you faggot! You fucking faggot! Like, she did just start screaming at him like that? Like, like when, when he that, wasn't giving that... Oh, man. Oh, no, wow. Think about it, think about it. If she was talking like that to him, you know, telling him to, like, you know, drop them over, he's back in the testes and shit, right? Right. Keeping that voice up. Like, what do you think she's saying to Nunzio when he whips it out? <laughs> I mean, Jesus bro, Christ. Bro, like, I don't even understand how that dude has any bass in his voice. I'm thinking that it's all vibrations out the nose. I think it's all noise vibration, bro, because it, it ain't coming from the gut, dog. It ain't coming from, I mean, like, I joke about, like, Rod and a pubic hair that he pisses out of, but I think that Nunzio actually might be pissing out of a pubic hair. Just say it. Oh. Just say it. Oh, oh mental. Uh, yeah. I have the mental image of that shit. <laughs> Oh, man. I, 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 I was gonna let you have your fun, but when I heard that shit right now, I was like, wait, I missed that? I really missed her fucking talking about, about like joining forces with me? Little old me, little old I told you so, little old I still try to try to try to at least uh, talk some sense. No, no, it's not, I mean, it's not, no, no, it's big bad AC, the bully, the, 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 the harasser, the one that lets burn on his panel to talk shit about people. Right? I mean, at the end of the well, day. I'm trying to be modest. I, 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 I get it, I get it. Let me say that they make you out to be this horrible person, but yet now it's not convenient. They want to fucking give you a reach around and hope that maybe, just maybe, you'll give them a platform for a little bit of that sweet, sweet clout. Oh man, I, look, I, I will have, I do have to give it to a few people, man. Because even, even when I try to be, I try to be cordial with the woman, right? Like, you know what? Let's put a little bit of this fucking old history in the back. Let, let me try. Like, I tried to talk some sense. Like, even with the new shit, right? Even with the nunzio, the fucking Zale, the Vegas Valley, even with some of that shit. Like, I even tried to go over there, try to play nice. Nope. It's still big bad, big badass fucking AC. He came over my channel. AC. The only reason that the Bird's Empire didn't strike back after she doxed me Sancho on phones was because you were like, yo, dude, like you're always saying, just because you can't, don't mean you should, just because you should, don't mean you, you know, you, you, you yeah, should, yeah. you know, and I'm like, all right, right, all right, you're right. Like, sometimes you're a voice of reason. She doesn't give you no credit because she doesn't see those things. But at the end of the day, how are you this big, bad individual that suddenly they want to fucking kiss ass to when they're in a time of crisis and getting outed for being fucking con artists, scammers, thieves, deadbeats? The list goes on. The Bird Empire, he stated. I wonder what that means. What does that, what does that imply? I wonder. Probably is nothing. I'm sure. You know, there's no, nothing questionable about that. Who doesn't have an empire named after them? I'm sure, everyone does. Mm. It's vicious. Mm. I don't know. Should we continue? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm good. All right, here we go. Here we go. Strap in, bitches. We're going to the top of the ride. Come on. I'm calling his mother, but I've stopped all of this, but it's just like, Debbie, I'll be, I guess, I guess, you know, you have a statue, because, you know, you know, I mean, I asked you, I said, you can't understand, just stop, and he wants me to go, so we need to go, like, um, you know, and now that I have actual screenshots of him, after I wanted to read it alone, getting my information out, my phone number, getting my phone number, yeah, I mean, I think it's worth being able to go, please, I want you to send it to Oh no, she's such a victim! I gave out everybody else's fucking address, phone numbers, and information, but watch out, Yoda, she's got screenshots, she's got blackmail you at some point with them, just so make sure those gifts keep coming! AC, if you want to interject at any time, just talk and I will pause. <laughs> All right. I love it, I love it. You won't stop using your freedom of speech by outing me for all my bad acts, so I'm gonna call the police on you. That sounds like somebody else I know, but we'll get into that later. In the meantime, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I need to give someone something. So that was around that 78. She came after a $60 uh, gift card. I never used it, and I never used any of them. I've been cheating, 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 I've been yeah, I'm gonna I think it's so fucking hilarious that pretty much everything that was donated to Ruru is now going to be applied and used by one nunzio. 
like like the cheesecake factory oh he's gonna eat that fucking cheesecake factory um uh, any money she sent like, if he wants a beer now she's gonna be able to use um yoda duck money to buy him that beer so he can drink dude do i ever get in anyone else's shit about what they purchase with their money do you guys ever hear me giving people anyone shit about what they spend their money on just like why is it this little shit fucking motherfuckers business in which who uses what with whose money or anything see this is my biggest issue too is just like that's what they come at me for all the time is like you know like as if they're a part of my business so i mean in any kind of way no matter who they're doing it to this this isn't shit that's really somebody like ac's business but again i get scrutinized more than even ac though you know it's just this is the dumbest shit i like this is the dumbest shit I've seen all year. This is, what is this, August 3rd? Yeah, this is one of the dumbest fucking days in Meet the Community uh, 223 history. This is this is just fucking dumb. Oh my God. Bring man, this fucking nose. Uh, man, you pay for it all, Yoda. How's it feel? <laughs> and don't forget those little bitty books, folks. You, know, you realize that, the, I know those were intended for uh, her son, but you know that he's gonna be the one sitting there and going, A is for apples, B is for bananas, uh, C is for the cat. Ooh, kitty, kitty, kitty. Like, there's a lot of people who are not to be trusted. I do not think anyone in that brutal 
mafia group is necessarily that trustworthy because if anything they would have known this shit too they would have seen it they would have said something did they no they all stayed quiet pretended that this is all a conspiracy when anyone asks any questions none of them say shit i'm the only one who's brought this shit up out of the few of them but they all fucking sit there questioning me you know they don't they don't want to have my back and support me when i have court or, or anything coming up like they're just going to completely sell me out Meanwhile, this piece of shit is playing gamble with their lives. This is so fucked. Not even with just lives. Children. Fucking innocent kids now. Kids' lives are being affected because of this shit. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Like... This is no wonder things have gotten so bad. Like I'm, I'm sitting here wondering why things are just like people are just like acting all weird and shit for the past few months. And and I just, I no one's told me shit. I've had to come to learn this shit, find out this way. It's just like, dude, this is so fucking stupid. Um, that was awesome. I mean, gift card for fifty dollars for GD Country fourteen. So I'm using it as GD Country multiple times. And so that's another. Yeah. Hey Raz, so Connie goes to court and then turns down a plea deal. Where they were gonna kick him off the internet for a year, like Rick Rude or something, right? And he turned it down, dude. And now he's taking it to trial. <laughs> that is not. They didn't give me no plea deal like that. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. They they never said nothing like that to me, so I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Lying ass piece of shit. I can go wrong. Oh, 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 dude, I'm sorry. Oh my god, dude, I'm serious. Like bad Jojo Cotty, you fucking fool. Yeah, yeah, him and Jojo, dude. Like, like this is the thing, dude. Like the way that the law's written. Both of dudes are fucked. It doesn't matter what they do, they're losing, right? Mm-hmm. Just keep that in mind. The way that the law is written ensures that both of those dudes will be convicted. If they had a jury trial, conviction. If they had a bench trial, conviction. Or they take the plea bargain, conviction. There is no out, motherfuckers. And you can thank this itty bitty tyrant bird, because you know here at we the people tyrant wars dot org, like to focus in to ensure that everybody has access to a victim's advocate, even if it's simply by reaching out to someone like me online. <clears throat> right. Lighty. Yeah, his friend there doesn't sound too confident when he just said right. So I mean, they're just full of shit. And all you have to do is give me your email address, and I can forward it to you. Lighty. Okay. Um. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anybody else? If you want a sixty dollars, you're gonna take it. Sixty dollar gift card to yeah, John Golf to Cheesecake Factory. Did you go Roscon? Okay, so we have Happy Happy Salty Blondie Ross, Lady Bug Medea, uh, Insane Lane, Blue Eyed John Golf. I just want to say, hey, Clown, if you are listening still, which I'm sure you are, uh, please take note on how it works out for Connie, how it works out for, uh, you know, Yoda and so many of your other friends as the next few months uh, proceed to, you know, get underway. Uh, just know that the difference between me and you is I'm successful. You're. Okay, so I know that I do have right to a fair. Uh, trial and what this guy just mentioned uh, it was anything sounds anything but fair so <laughs> I mean you know he can say whatever he wants to say I just hope you understand people that he's not anyone who works in the court this guy is not a judge he's not a law enforcement he, he's um, probably more in the lines of like a terrorist or like a criminal um, I just I, I don't know how how he can just be the judge and the jury just all in one and can just somehow predict the outcome for not just one case but multiple cases that have nothing supposedly or should have nothing to do with him but yet he's behind the scenes doing something but he's not because we can't see him but he is but he isn't but he is but he isn't but he isn't but he is but he isn't but he isn't like fucking out of here you're still a failure. I'm free. No criminal charges. None. That's <laughs> all. So since that's actually an important clip, I'm going to play that back because I want to get, uh, yeah. No, it's $60 to keep the factory. Now, I want you guys to take note of something, right? So you got Ruru, right? A supporter of We the People Time Wars, a supporter of Dick mm-hmm. Wayne, a supporter of Germany, mm-hmm. all people mm-hmm. that have actively engaged in child predatorial behaviors online and that have doxxed the fuck out of people's kids and or endangered people's kids, right? But this is who Ruru likes to hang out with. Mm-hmm. Vicious! I don't want, I don't want anything from this dude. So do happy, happy, salty, blondie, ladybug. It's a raffle for $16 to keep the factory. 
Um, Douglas Cobb sent me a gift card for fifty dollars for Disney Country February fourteenth, so I haven't used it. I've been to Country multiple times since, so that's another. Hey Raz, so Connie goes to court and then turns down a plea deal where they were gonna kick him off the internet for a year, like Rick Rude or something, right? And he turned it down, dude. And now he's taking it to trial. <laughs>
conjuring up some fuck shit with his fucking friends. Stirring up the pot, so to speak, is what they call it. Wow, this is I wonder, down quick. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I wonder if, like, like, just knowing how she's so willing to use someone else's money uh, for her game um, and not give much back. I, I, this makes me think of, like, those Gold Digger videos where she's walking, like, like the chick's walking by, sees the dude, like, hanging out or whatever, and he's like, hey, so how's it going? She's like, I don't want to talk to you. I got a boyfriend. But as soon as he, she starts walking off, he's like, all right, he gets into his fat-ass ride, that fucking badass beamer that no one else fucking has. And she's like, oh, my God, is this your ride? Yeah, that, I wonder if we could, like... So I'll be one to fact check that. So, I mean, Rue has actually been pretty generous. When she first came around here, she was donating. Until she thought that I was, like, she thought that I was doxing her or thought that I was behind her name being doxed in my chat or some shit like that. Like, she was one of my supporters, but, like, it, it showed, like, that she she wasn't just someone who was selfless and just cared about herself. I mean, she was willing to do uh, something for others, you know what I mean? So that doesn't, what AC's saying doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense to me, you know? Does she still support me? Probably not, but I'm not going to be somebody to lie and say that I think that she's just what AC is describing. This is why I'm trying to show people how these people are liars. They just twist things the way they want it just to sound good. But this is just to prove my argument. We search the internet. We might find Ruru in a couple of those fucking videos. <laughs> am, I, am I not the only one that takes no, no, no. this shit? No, dude, dude, hey, you've seen it in the fucking title of the stream, bro, right? Like, like, or, or at least in the JPEG. You know, Ruru the gold <laughs> yeah, digger, yeah. right? And my I put one D in it because she's a gold digger. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just saying. All right. Mm. I mean, dude, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, let's see what we got here to do. Let's check this out. We got two minutes, 18. So, so this is over, dude. Like, we might. So, I mean, my point is, is that, like, I didn't have much to offer Rue when she donated or supported me. So, for one to be a gold digger would be someone who would only go after people with money or something that they gain from and I mean it's not like she necessarily had anything to gain from supporting me I don't believe I mean sometimes I think that oh maybe she did because she saw that it was a way in and maybe you know she uh you know just did it to like get along with my supporters so that she could draw them in over to support her sometimes I do wonder that but you know on the other hand it's just like it probably is just as simple as like people just had enough with me maybe or some shit like, I talk mad shit, so who knows. But at the same time, um, these these people definitely have some weird kind of, like, say on, like, how people and what people do with their money on here and shit. Like, uh, this whole gold digger theory narrative that they have is probably, you know, just so that people will stop donating to her. Um, and it's just to make those people think, well... Now we don't have an incentive because look, she's just doing it to to get in people's pockets. Like it's the same shit they do to me. So I mean, if I tried to cover it up in any aspect for anyone else, to be the same thing like covering it, uh, covering um, what they're doing to me up or some shit. So that's why I'm calling it out. Like, um, but I mean, I, I, like again, like I don't get along with Roscon or Rue or much of her pack because. I think that there are a lot of those people here in her, like, friendship group, and same as with Sweet, and they just kind of, like, let their guard down, their guard down too much, um, to the point where it's, it's dangerous now, like, there are, if there are kids' lives being affected because of this shit, this is not some shit to, like, make light out of, this is some serious shit, but, you know. Might as well just wrap this, bash it up, like, I guess, all in all, AC, are you planning on going live tonight? I wasn't planning on it. Um, I was kind of enjoying, uh, the, you know, watching your stream and a couple other things going on. <laughs> right on. I don't know what else is going on, but, you know, we're pushing three hours and 30 minutes here. Typically, my shows don't go longer than an hour. So, uh, but, you know, this was two and a half hours of coverage on Ruru. Uh, I had to take some weed intermissions and, and so forth. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be wrapping it up. But, like, like, give us your thoughts on this. I mean, this, this, this is a fucking saga uh, of dysfunction, dumpster fires, and, and throwing trash on top of trash on top of trash and then trying to make sense on why nobody's picked it up and disposed of it. Um, so, so you know, maybe just kind of give me your synopsis and your thoughts on all of this. Okay. <clears throat> I've said this before on, on, on my channel, said this before on a couple other channels that have 
basically gone over some of this content. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't want your fucking life to be displayed on the fucking internet, don't come to the internet and display it for the world to fucking see. Don't put out the information. Don't put out your... Don't, don't, look, for, from, from the get... He's not even saying that like somebody who's actually trying to warn people in a kind of calm tone. This is some tyrant who is enforcing people to follow their law that they've made up as if they are law enforcement. Like he is he is talking to you guys like as if he's a cop displaying his laws and rules to all of you idiots. And you guys listen to this shit. It's just unbelievable. This guy really him and his friends deserve to be in jail, like in prison. Like these are bad people. It, this is quite evident. Just listen to how much like this guy is even getting turned on saying this shit. Like he's having a fucking orgasm right now as he's saying this shit. Listen to his voice. Yo, we have warned so many people. Stay <laughs> the fuck. Get this shit offline. Do not put this up here. And what did you do? Get did it anyway. So what did we do? We did what we were here to do in the first place. Make fun of fucking locale and enjoy the fuck out of this content. This is better than fucking General Hospital mixed with some goddamn fucking um um you know hour-long show this is a daily thing and we are entertained as fuck and they are not lying everything that i have told people about these folks is true they are most certainly making this out to be their own little sitcom and if you think that for a second that that's not what's happening y'all are insane okay you've seen it you hear them they're saying it straight to you they're not kidding this isn't a fucking joke these people are dead ass serious. They want to affect people's lives, even kids involved that are innocent. Even just like fucking trying to play like they're victims advocates. Meanwhile, these are people who entertain some guy pretending to commit suicide. This is just not natural, people. So thank you for that. Thank you for not <laughs> listening to the people with the best advice in the world. Granted, <laughs> granted, you may not have liked me, but guess what? I've been right this entire fucking time! <laughs> right right <laughs> okay and if people think that meth drew you know andrew mob boss dickhead brain somehow isn't part of this you guys are also stupid because he most definitely is just like these folk they saw ace b in the chat with the wrench she was in there too if i skip to the beginning and you'll see her in here and she's definitely going to be pampered with wrench of course so and it's not, like, a coincidence behind that. Like, th this is, like, so stupid. Because if, let's say, this guy can affect people's lives or affect innocent kids' lives in this, what makes them think that that meth head wouldn't be also capable of trying to or attempting to? Like, these are people who most definitely are not sane in the head. Like, th they are all questionable. And whether or not you guys back away, leave come back, split apart, divide yourselves in different groups, and they're always going to come at you just like how they're coming after me. You guys see it right here. It's evident. They are not letting go. Why? Because this is this is a game to them. He's telling you. He, this guy, AC, this fat motherfucker, is literally telling all of us. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Uh, uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me uh, finish those off. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 42 of you still here uh, throughout the show. <clears throat> I got to say, uh, you know, pretty pretty decent sized number for me to have uh, here with us tonight, given the circumstance that this channel is just debuting tonight for you know the first time. And uh, you know, yeah, welcome back to uh, the Tyrant Bird Show. Where we're going to continue to fucking bring you these exposures. We're going to continue to you know go over these locales and a lot of other content that we used to go over. Uh, so you know, you're going to find some type of entertainment here, no matter if you're into like you know watching you know cop shootings or if you're into watching locales or you know how to catch a fucking predator. Um, you know, you guys will enjoy what you do here. So uh, you know, stick around, watch how it all plays out, and just know that if you're hate watching, chances are you're probably going to be featured here real soon. So keep on watching. And uh, stay silent, because if not, you'll probably get knocked like Happy Hippie or, you know, the fucking pedal team. Um, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get us on out of here, and then uh, I'm going to chop it up with fucking AC right afterwards. Uh, before we go, though, uh, you know, I think it's only appropriate that we bring up Dr. Huxtable to, uh, you know, kind of close us out before this last song. I just want to say 